Hi everybody, it's Mark Schelsch here. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. A question I get asked a lot is, do I think talent is the major thing that will bring success for an artist? And my answer is always no. There's lots of failed, talented artists, many failed, talented artists. And the things I'm going to talk about to you today, if you don't have these four things and you can't, or you haven't yet built them into your life, then having all the talent in the whole world will do you very little good unless someone puts a whole lot of money behind you to promote you. Now, a painting. When we as artists paint a painting, we put it up in the wall, we have to be very careful about the story we're telling ourselves. Okay, because we always tell ourselves stories. And when you are having an opening or when you're having a show and you've got your paintings up there, don't be one of those artists who have this idea that their paintings speak for themselves. They don't. Paintings don't speak. They, they, they are unable to speak. The painting is something that goes up on the wall and a painting conveys a, a, a message in this way. It conveys a message through what the title is of the painting and what the uh, viewer thinks about the paintings. Is the viewer moved emotionally or is it just bland and they walk on? So the title and what the viewer sees creates the story that the viewer tells them in their head, okay? So if you're in an opening and all your paintings are up there, I believe these four things that I'm gonna talk about are very important if you wanna bring the potential customer to the point of buying the painting. And they're simple things. And I believe they're game-changing things. Okay, I'm going to give you these four things today because I think they are really important. And I would say even more important than talent. I would rather have very little talent and have these four things going for me than a lot of talent and these not working for me. Okay, these things are simple. The first one, have a pleasing personality. Be the person who's always got the smile. Be the person who walks up to the visitor. Walk up to the stranger and, and shakes their hands and say, Hi, how are you? Don't try and sell to them. Just be that pleasing person. Work on your smile. Work on your handshake. You know, Warren Buffett, one of the richest men, says one of the most important things that you can learn is public speaking. That way you can easily walk up and talk to strangers. And you know, selling paintings is about talking to strangers. It's about walking up and making this stranger into a friend. As I teach the staff who come to work in Galleria, we're not about selling, we're about making friends. And through that friendship do we then deliver sales. That's how it works. We live in a day that has changed where we need to build relationships with people, where we need to, to get people to the point where they give us permission to sell them a painting. And you can't build relationships with people if you don't talk to them. And you can't build them if you're not friendly and smiling and pleasing and have a personality that people want to warm to. That's what we need to do. Learn to smile. Learn to have a handshake that's warm and comfortable, strong, but without breaking bones. Uh, have that personality that people say, well, that's a nice person. I like that person. Very important. Pleasing personality is so important. If you don't have it, work on it. This is something you can do. The second thing you need to have is a positive mental attitude. Don't always see what's wrong. Look for the good things in life. Don't be the critic. Don't be the fault finder. Don't be the one who, who sucks their teeth and, yeah, I knew that was going to happen kind of thing. Be the one who's, who's there with the positive attitude. Hey, this is going to work. This is going to be good. Let's get in here and do it. Positive mental attitude takes self-discipline. It really does take the discipline of saying to yourself, when you start thinking negative thoughts, stop. Stop. This has got to stop. I want to change my thoughts. You know, and it takes personal development, working on ourselves, reading the right books, making the changes personally, personally that we have to make so that we become a better person. And when we become a better person, we become a more positive person. And with the positive person, we are a pleasing personality and we reach people and touch them. We've got to deal with our thought life. It's so important. Quieten the thought life down. When you start thinking negative things, say, stop. I don't want to think those anymore. And when the thief comes along to stop you from being able to do the things you want to say, uh, do, you've got to say to the thief, Oh, you've turned up. Huh. I must be doing the right thing. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. 
Use the thief to direct you into the right things to do. Don't you let the thief stop you and put negativity into your life and bring you to a standstill. You know, the, the biggest problem people face in life is fear. Two things that people face in life that, that really they've got to deal with is fear and procrastination, not doing it. Okay, the next thing is be enthusiastic. When you talk about your, your paintings, be enthusiastic about the paintings. Talk about them like they're the most important things in the whole world. Well, they should be. If you want me to be enthusiastic about your paintings, you be enthusiastic about your paintings. Enthusiasm is contagious and it touches people. And we love being around enthusiastic people. It's great to work with enthusiastic people. It makes life go so quick. It's good. It's a great place to be. Be enthusiastic. If you're enthusiastic, you will enthuse people and they will be touched by your personality. Very important thing. And finally, and the fourth thing you need to be able to do, if you really want to win people to yourself, story tell. Be able to paint pictures with your words. Paint pictures to, for people that they can begin to see it in their own life. People, people think with pictures. People, you know, when you read a book, pictures are what you're seeing all the time. It's amazing. The imagination is an amazing thing. And you and I have got to stimulate people's imaginations when they're looking at our paintings and say to them, you know, things like, uh, you like this painting? And if they say, yeah. And then say, to, imagine this painting hanging in your breakfast nook with all these beautiful rainbows and flowers and the colors every morning when you sit down to have your coffee and you lift the coffee cup, you look up and you see that painting and joy floods into your life. And you're full of, of, of joy, ready to go out and face the day with a positive attitude. That's a great picture. People want that. People's lives are pretty boring, guys. We have got to tell stories about our art that enthuse them, that they get, they're positive about and they, stay, they like us because we have a pleasing personality. You know, I would rather have those four attributes and a little talent in this business because you'll make it. I would like, I would not like to have none of those attributes and a whole lot of talent because you're not going to make it in this business. You're going to fail eventually. Doesn't matter how much money they put behind you, eventually they'll just get tired of you because you haven't got those traits. Very important, my friend. Very important to have a pleasing personality, a positive mental attitude, enthusiasm, be enthusiastic about what you do, your work, your talent, your abilities, your studio, everything. Be enthusiastic about it and you'll be amazed at what it'll do to the people around you and story tell your work. You do those things and you will have an effect on people's lives that will stun you. You will sell paintings. And remember, my friends, you need all these things because there's so many paintings out there today being sold. So many artists out there trying to sell paintings. So get these things. These edges make such a difference. Such a difference. The four keys. Pleasing personality, positive mental attitude, enthusiasm, and story tell your work. I hope that's helped you. I hope that enthuses you. So when you have your next show, you come with those four assets and you will make a difference to your show and to your life and to all the people around you. Remember, it's about changing our world. We change us to change our world. So important, friends. Okay, guys, you have a great day. Get out there and make a difference. Change your world. That's what it's all about. That's my motto. I am here to change my world. And I hope you're doing the same. You have a great day. I look forward to the day when you come and visit me here in Galleria de las Islas and have coffee with me. And remember, there are hurting people out there. Smiles and hugs for free. You have a fabulous day, guys. My name's Mark. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.